survive constantly. <laughs> There's like so. Like, so this is like in November of last year, and it was for the Jaterna 10 year anniversary. And I spent all of my money to buy tickets, three of them. And, and who were the three tickets for? Me, you, and Kevin. Who's Kevin? Our brother. <laughs> is this a quiz teacher? No. Anyways, uh, yeah, so it was in November. It was like for my birthday around like... Well, was my it? birthday is on the 7th, and it was like the 27th or something. Whatever. Uh, um, so yeah, I was like really excited. I don't know if you were excited, but I was really excited because I thought that I would never see them play the Jaterna album live. Like, I don't remember anything that we did, like, during the day of that day when the concert happened. Like, I don't remember, like, what I did. Oh, yeah, I kind of <laughs> yeah. remember. I put my hair up in a bun, and then I, like, when I got dressed, I put my hair up in a bun, and then I, I had that ribbon that I put around my hair, and then I wore that, and I probably looked like shit. Cause it was a long time ago, and I did not have style back then. <laughs> Still do The only thing I remember wearing was the Circus Survive sweater that oh, yeah. I bought. I yeah, think. That's it, but I don't remember what else I want. Not that it's important. <laughs> Um, the concert started like at 7 or something like that, but we got there kind of early because I, I don't, oh yeah, we wanted to buy shirts and we didn't want the concert to start before that. Our parents drove us there and they dropped us off too, obviously. <laughs> and when we got there, we, the location was called, I think, the House of Blues or something like that. And so when we showed up, there was like this place called the House of Blues, so we walked in and oh, it was yeah. <laughs> like... The restaurant, and then we saw a little stage with some people playing out. We yeah, were like, we're really like is this? Is this the Circus Survive concert? And there was like these. I think they were white people. <laughs> she thinks they were black people playing on the stage, and we were just confused. So we asked like the, the like, the people who like seat you in restaurants, whatever, and we asked them if this was where the concert was, and they were like, Haha, no, stupid. It's upstairs. No, they didn't say that, but they said that it was in the other building. So after being embarrassed, we walked up this, these stairs and we found where the concert area was because there was just a line of random people. It wasn't in the same <clears throat> building. It well, it was kind of close. Like, like we had to go up some stairs. It looked like a shopping center or something. It was weird. Oh, see, you're confusing the people. They <laughs> might think that you go. Up the stairs in that place. Oh, like we went out of the building and like up some random stairs. Like, we found the place and we got in line and the majority of the people were like 20 up. So anyways, we had to wait in line. And there were some out. old people too. Yeah. <laughs> there, I saw a lot yeah, of like, like in their bearded guys or like be like with tattoos. Well, whatever. And such. We got um like like security scanned or whatever and we showed them our tickets and um. We went in, and it was like super crowded, and, and the downstairs area was like, it had a bar, and like, and it was kind of dark, and there was already a, like, a band playing on stage, and we had to like, squeeze through and like, touch other people's body parts to get to the, like, the, the table where they were selling all the clothes and stuff. We got to the table, and there was a whole bunch of shirts and stuff, and we were just looking at them, and... I picked like a shirt that had like the tour dates on it and you picked like a what are they called a sweatshirt is that the polar whatever that had like the lion on it okay it's not important what we bought oh and the leggings you bought the leggings too that I wanted that I'm super jealous and so after we paid for our stuff it was like really hard to get back out of the giant crowd of people but we were like really confused as to where our seats were because like we knew that there were balcony seats but like we didn't see like stairs or a way to get to the balcony so we were like just like scrambling back and forth and then we went like down this like weird like hallway kind of looking thing and we saw this guy and we thought maybe that's where you go so and we we're kind of like should we ask him should we not because like i'm pretty shy and I'm, like i can't ask things anyways and so i think either you or kevin walked up to him and asked like no kevin asked where the seats were and then he's like you go to like the elevator and they take you up or something 
So then we had to go back through the crowd to find the elevator, which was like on the other side. And we went up it and there was just this guy who... He scanned our ticket and we went up this elevator, which was like took two seconds. And then we got out and we are like, okay, time to find our seats. So we were like looking and then we found at least what I thought were our seats. And so we sit down and we're like, this is great. We have like the front row. <laughs> like this is kind of cheap, but we have like an awesome view. It was like right the edge. Like, of the, the balcony. Of the balcony. We could see perfectly clear. Everything was nice. We're just waiting for them to come on. And so we're just listening to the other band play, just like, Okay, we're waiting and like and then um like sometime kind of close to when circuit was gonna come on like we noticed these people kind of like hovering us and they were like actually i didn't notice them they kind of looked there are two then, people yeah this couple i think or something like that and they walk back up and then this the same guy who works the elevator thing comes down and is like hey can i see your like tickets and then he like it's like, oh, this is not your seat. And we were like, what? So, this is it. Our seat. And we're like, well, where do we go? So they don't really tell us. We just kind of get up and we're like, well, I guess we have to say goodbye to the perfect seat. And we walk up the aisle. Up. And, up. <laughs> up. We walk up the aisle and we find these like three seats. And again, I'm not even really sure if that's where we were supposed to sit, but we sat down anyways. And it was like kind of a lot farther than where we were originally at. And oh my god, girl. The people in front of us were like these what two the girls. Hell? And I was just like, okay, whatever. Like we, you know, we weren't expecting, but whatever. It's gonna be good. It's gonna be great. So, like, <laughs> I'm laughing because I saved it three times. <laughs> each time I'll see, each time I go like that, and then I go back, I forget. <laughs> That's what happens to us. <laughs> So we were sitting and just waiting for them to come on and then, you know, I don't remember how long it took for them to come on but then eventually the lights dim and then people got excited and I was really excited and everyone was cheering and then I don't remember what song they played first. Oh God. But <laughs> music's playing and we're just like, everyone's cheering, you hear his voice and I was just like, it's beautiful. And then the lights came on and it was like... I'm pretty sure that was after the, the one song. Like the first song came. It was fine. And, yeah, and then the second one was the one was like bad. Oh, whatever. Some point during the concert, these lights come on and they are They're so like super sharp in your eye. And right on us, just right. No. It was like super bright and there were colored lights too. So it made it even like harder to see. Like the angle that they were set up so for some reason pointed like perfectly I don't know if it was just like us, us? experiences. Yeah. Like we have no idea because we don't didn't know happen. anyone. We don't know anyone. <laughs> like, like no one told us. Like everyone was acting yeah. totally normal. Like, they, like they, they could see him. Like so the whole time I was thinking that we might as, might as well stayed home because like the like all we could see were lights. Like literally us here and then like the lights here and then like all we saw were lights yeah like the him, whole time i think like, no the whole stage was lights yeah. you didn't see anything like i think i caught a glimpse of him for like a second just somewhere during the concert but other than that pretty much that was all that happened yeah. like all we saw were lights yeah. and it was terrible mm -hmm. like the i mean his scene was good like I just wish I could have seen him for like a minute, please. And like and the girls in front of us were like so, like they were just like, they were hella like just like all over the place. And I'm like, are we, are we just like, are we the only ones here that cannot see him at all? It was a good experience at least to get to hear him. We're enjoying something halfway. Halfway yeah. because it's like something happened that I was really upset about. And I, I mean, like, what can I do? At some point during the concert, you had to go pee. And so I'm like, well, I should just go at the same time so I don't have to go pee later. And so we got up and we go to the bathroom and I'm just like in the toilet while Anthony Green is singing. Mm -hmm. And it was like very, it was like so weird because like this guy that like his voice is like so like, like I don't know. It's just like pure like, uh, and like I'm just peeing while he's singing live. Just in the bathroom and like, what, what? Like, all the other girls just didn't seem to be affected by the fact that they're in the bathroom and Anthony Green is singing to them. Well, not really. But. So, 
We were just uh, about to wash our hands, and so there's <laughs> there was this. Can you explain them? That we'll there was like this, this soap lady. <laughs> It's like this lady that was like just standing kind of near like a corner with like soap in her hand. I'm guessing it was her job to like just like squirt soap into people's hands and then like if the people are feeling generous they give her tips and well whatever she like came up to me and she gave me a squirt and I was like okay cool and then <laughs> I was like I noticed that all these girls in the bathroom were getting soap and I was like girl I want some soap. <laughs> Just kidding, because I'm pretty sure she had the soap, and there was no other soap, and the soap's ba- So- <laughs> So ba- <laughs> So basically, she was hogging the soap, and there's, like, no other way to ignore her, right? And then, um, I approached her, and I was like- <laughs> Like, can you pretend to be here? I was like this. No, she was giving oh, up oh, the soap. She skipped me. <laughs> she legit skipped me on purpose, okay? She was like, oh, yeah, this girl looks like she don't got money. And then she went to you, even though you're shorter yeah, than me. And I, I was like, know. what the hell? Why Why judge people, okay? Well, you don't have money. Fail number two. And so after we were done, we just went back and, like, we enjoyed our concert <laughs> of lights. <laughs> Not the band or the girl, just literally lights and then Anthony Green singing. So it ended pretty fast, right? Yeah, it felt like it. So it was kind of like, well, like we paid a lot of money to see. Well, I mean, we we were still there and we did hear him live and everything, but I don't know. It felt kind of like I felt unsatisfied. And so we were walking out and like, and then this like random like gay guy walks up to me and's like, you have nice hair or something oh, like yeah. that. And I was like, thank you. And then I walk, and then he walked away. <laughs> so the concert's over, and we go down the elevator, and the downstairs looks like like a disaster. Like oh. there was, it, it looked like a hurricane or something, and it was just like it was a mess. <laughs> and we went out the building, and we went back down the stairs, and then we were waiting by this fountain, and like. There was this like random pizza guy selling pizza in his little car thing and people handing out flyers and so we were just waiting for our parents and yeah and then like some time passed after that and I noticed the, um, I believe it's the drummer from Circus Survive coming out and then I was like isn't that, isn't that like and I was pointing to him and then as I was pointing to him Anthony Green comes after him, and then I was just like, oh my god, is this, like, actually happening? And, like, everyone else was, like, too busy or eating too drunk pizza. eating pizza, and they did not notice that he just came out of the building, and I was just like, oh my god, oh my god, and, like, I couldn't say it. So, I said, Anthony, and then I'm oh like, girl, you heard me, he came, he, like, came, he like, was walking away, he was like this, and then, like this, like this, and then he... He, when I called him, he stopped, and then he turned back, and at first I was like, he's not gonna, he's not turning back for me, for <laughs> us, but then he went this way, and then he, he hugged us, and yeah. life was good again. <laughs> yeah, and it was like, it was, it was pretty worth it, I mean, I didn't In expect the end, that yeah. to happen. He was really calm, and like, he didn't really say anything, it was just calm, and then he just walked away, and I think only, like, one other person noticed him. And they hugged him or something, and then he just disappeared, and that was it. And then our parents finally came, and we went home, and then that was it. And, and then, then when they got in the car, <laughs> yeah, it was in the car, I was like, we made it work. Yeah. Peace and love. Bye, guys. Okay. <laughs> no, you can edit that out. <laughs> Just for bloopers, is it? What? Your butt's gonna be in the whole time. So? Hey! This is a bad angle. Do you want it to be higher? Or am I just short? Or are you too close, maybe? Yeah, or is it just because like you're taller? Don't guide me out. It's a surprise.
you haven't caught yet It's nothing personal, you're an embarrassment Oh, don't cut me yet. Why are you playing with my cheek? Because Okay, so I was like Like this, because I wanted soap, right? And then she, she like, just walked away with her soap And, and I was here, awkwardly <laughs> holding these hands Of Jesus, okay? <laughs> And then what happened? And then you were just like, okay. I was and like, then, okay. You know me, like, girl. And finally like, oh, I'm sorry. And then she finally gave you soap, right? And I felt really like, okay, this is fail number two of the day. Fail number two.